can't keep my hands to myself Hands to myself Can't keep my hands to myself and today I am super excited to present to you our first video of the Valentine season. I don't know about you guys, but my wallet is still hurting from the Christmas season and I barely have two quarters to rub together. Am I right or am I right? But Valentine's Day is coming up and you want to show that special someone, whether friend or romantic interest, nudge nudge, wink wink, that you really care. So I thought it'd be cool if I came up with some creative, affordable, and tasty gifts that you could give that special someone. All of these recipes are approved by yours truly and they will be linked down below so you can get crazy in your kitchen. But I don't wanna make this intro too long, so let's get started. This first DIY treat slash gift are these adorable, super simple candy heart brownies. First it off with some plain brownies. This is my recipe. Then place candy hearts all around the area of the brownie. You can do this step when either the brownies are still batter and bake them that way, or when the brownies are fresh out of the oven so the heat will cause the candy to fuse to the brownie. And there you go, slice and serve. This gift is perfect for any chocolate lover in your life and I'm sure they will love these. Oh, uh, I will never let you this next gift strays away from chocolate and appeals to the punny side of anybody's sense of humor. First, you're gonna need some coconut macaroons. Here's my recipe. The first step is to make a basic tag for your gift. I cut mine out of this old valentine container, but you can use any craft paper you want. Next, in pen, write, I am coconutty for you. Get it? Eh? Eh? Then, punch a hole somewhere in your label. Next, place your coconut macaroons in a clear gift bag. Twist the top of the bag to make it look more fanciful and more like a gift. And finally, thread a twist tie through the label we made and use it to tie the gift closed. And there you go, a coconutty treat for the person who makes you go nutty. And our last DIY gift slash treat are these Valentine's Day themed cake pops. Start off with 9 to 10 chocolate cupcakes. Here's my recipe. Then use your hands to grind the cupcakes into bits. Then you'll need chocolate ganache. This is my recipe. Add the ganache to the crumbs and combine the two using your hands. Then roll your dough into balls and refrigerate for about five to 10 minutes. Once you've taken your cake balls out of the fridge, melt some chocolate. Stir your cake pop sticks in the chocolate and insert it into the center of the ball. This will act as a sort of seal and help keep your pops secure. Once you've sealed them all, refrigerate again until they've set. Next, it's smart to set up some sort of decorating station with different colored candy melts and chocolates for dipping, sprinkles and colored sugars, and some sort of cake pop stand. Then take one cake pop in hand and go crazy, dipping them in one at a time and decorating as you go. This is the time to be creative. As I said before, use different colored candy melts and chocolates, sprinkles, and design. And there you go, cake pops for the season. Simple and better than Starbucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That always makes my day. Now, before you click away, I just want to remind all of you guys that me and Michelle are going to be doing a relationship slash love chat video that will be airing on Valentine's Day featuring your thoughts and questions. And we would love for you guys to be leaving them in the comment section below so that we can get your input and make the video extra special. If you have any advice questions or are more personal, you can send them to our email right here and we'll be sure to answer those to the best of our ability. But also make sure to comment down below about this video, letting me know what you thought and what recipes you're excited about making. I love chatting with you guys, and if you comment, you're almost guaranteed to reply. So let's have a conversation going, shall we? Follow me and Michelle on all our social media links, which includes Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, and go ahead and like our Facebook page. We have a bunch of fun stuff on there for you guys. Also make sure to pop over to our vlog channel and click that subscribe button. We got tons of fun stuff over there for you guys, whether it's vlogs, recaps, bloopers, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Go ahead and support us over there, we'd love to have you. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe!